high water energies, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and those cross watching, and welcome to your daily love tarot messages here. So, we're going to take a look at the messages that are predicted for you today. Um, these are going to be general. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. I am going to use two decks here. Um, I'm also going to be using the Angel Answers Oracle cards here. Okay, so we'll get the card to shuffle. Okay, you've got the star, the ten of pentacles, and death. Oh, so no came out for the star. Ten of Pentacles, this perfect timing here. And death, the situation will improve. Okay, I'm gonna begin with the star first here. So you've got a um you've got no here from the angel answers, a very resounding no. So for some of you, if you've had a question in mind, um as I was shuffling the cards, it appears as though the answer here may be no. For now, okay? We do know that, you know, time and energy is all fluid and things are, are in a constant state of fluidity here. So for now, it feels as though there's something here that um, either you're resisting or I feel like there's some sort of opposing force here. Now the star, oftentimes when it appears, it's bringing a renewed sense of hope, a faith here, or a sense that, you know, you're truly blessed by the universe. Some of you, I feel like maybe you, with the angel answers here, you know, it's come up as no, which is a little bit um, blunt, isn't it? Maybe some of you are forgetting here. Okay, maybe some of you are, you know, you're losing a sense of hope, or you're losing a sense of faith when it comes to you and a romantic connecting energy here. Maybe um, the two of you are in, currently in separation here, okay? You're going through a period of um, devastation here. So some of you, there's a divorce, there's a separation, there's a breakup, or there's this uncomfortable energy where you feel as though the two of you are, you know, you're coming to some sort of combination, to an end of some sort. And for a lot of you, you don't feel like, you don't necessarily see the light in all of this darkness. And some of you are losing the faith. And I feel like what the message for you here is to... Some of you need to restore your faith, okay? You are being blessed by the universe. You're also being guided here by the universe. You're being guided to certain people, to certain situations, to certain to certain events here. So you need to trust the process here. And some of you, I feel like you need to... Um, some of you, you do have a faith that can be un unshakable here. But for others of you, I feel like you need to be reminded here. You need to be reminded to keep a sense of hope and to keep a sense of faith alive and that you and uh, connecting romantic energy here, you're truly blessed. Okay, this is hope, inspiration. This is also healing. Some of you don't feel like you're going to heal or you're going to move on from a situation. You will. You will. Okay. Now, thoughts become things. What you put out there comes back to you. So for, for a lot of you, you need to really trust the process. Trust that you deserve it here. For a lot of you, I feel like you, because the star card he follows, um, it follows the trauma here of the tower card, and the tower card can be very, um, you know, um, a very destructive energy. For for a lot of you, there are certain, there's, okay, there are certain things I think that are happening in your life right now, which makes you, which makes you, um, which is making you lose faith and making you lose hope that. Something can be reconciled or something can be restored here. It's easy to keep the faith when evidence, um, you know, when evidence of your um, faith shows up. Like it's easy to keep the faith when everything is going good, right? Um, it's, it, it's most difficult to keep a sense of faith and to keep a sense of hope when things aren't so easy, when things are difficult, when things are challenging, when things are turbulent here. So 
Um, for a lot of you, there is a light at the end of the darkness. You just need to trust that. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles, there is perfect timing. So again, something here is falling apart, but I feel like it's falling apart so it can come back together in a big, in a very big and powerful way. So you have to trust that where you are is where you need to be. It may not be where you want to be, but it is where you need to be. I see something coming together. To me, this is the Ten of Pentacles here is about laying foundations. So for some of you, you are laying... Um, you are building a strong foundation for um, a friendship or um, marriage or, um, you know, partnership here, for a relationship here. You are building a strong foundation. And what you're going through, essentially, I feel like it's solidifying your connection. It's it's cementing your connection, okay? It's, it's bringing the two of you closer together. I'm also seeing that there is something here that might happen throughout the space of... Um, today here which I feel like will you'll sort of give it's almost like you'll sort of give a lot of things to the universe because something here almost happens in perfect timing it could be a phone call like you might think of someone and then that person might just give you a call or might give you a text something here happens in perfect timing but I feel like it connects because there are two sides to a pentacle it connects you and a romantic energy here okay death and the situation will improve so something that is ending isn't ending permanently I feel like it's ending because it's going to begin again in a new way now some of you are approaching some sort of culmination or um, the expiration date of your connection is um, nearing or you feel as though you know this breakup or this divorce or this separation you feel like that might be final um, we all know that nothing truly ends it begins again in a new way and for a lot of you just because where you're at right now is feeling a little bit uncomfortable um, know that your situation will improve things will get better here there is going to be a light to your darkness here okay you need the contrast though for a lot of you um, it's important to understand that whatever it is that you're going through it's preparing you for what's to come and you need contrast is so important otherwise you know how would you know how would you know light if you've never experienced darkness how would you know happiness if you've never experienced a sense of sadness okay contrast is extremely important here The situation will improve. Things will get better. Okay, things will get better. Transformations, endings, change, transitions, letting go, releasing. Releasing. For a lot of you, you've been in a stagnant situation. Things are going to get moving. They are going to get better here. For some of you, you feel like, you know, a breakup here, you feel as though, you know, it's, it's final or you feel as though you will never love again. You will you will it, things will get better you may not see it now but you need to trust it you need to believe it because I feel like what's happening for you here right now guys it, it's part of a bigger plan it's part of a much grander plan here okay and that's all I have for you guys I will be catching up with you tomorrow for more of your daily um, love tarot messages bye for now